In today's video, I'll show you how to create a fully automated virtual try-on system using the FAL AI API. With this automation, you can upload your own photo or use a model image and instantly change outfits with just a few clicks. This is the FAL AI Virtual Try-on API. It allows me to combine two images, a person image and a clothing image. Then, the model automatically applies the clothing to the person's body preserving the original pose, and generating a realistic result. This is perfect for fashion creators, online stores, or anyone who wants to test different outfits quickly. To make the try-on process structured and easy to automate, I'm using Airtable as my main database. Each row in this table represents a single virtual try-on request, and each column has a specific purpose. Let's go through them one by one. Number. This is a simple index that keeps all the try-on requests organized. It helps me reference each record easily in the automation. Status. This shows the current stage of the process. For example, it can display to do when the record is starting or done when the final image has been generated. Aspect ratio. Here, I can define the aspect ratio for the output image such as 1 to 1, 9 to 16, or 3 to 4. This is especially useful if I want vertical images for social media or square ones for product listings. Person image. This column holds the URL or file of the person's image. It can be a photo of a model or even a selfie. Clothing image. This is where I upload or paste the URL of the outfit I want to try on the model. It can be a t-shirt, a dress, a jacket, or any clothing piece. Preserve pose. This is a Boolean field, meaning true or false. If it's set to true, the model preserves the original body position and overlays the clothing accordingly. Final result. Once the image has been generated through the API, the final output image URL is stored here. This makes it very easy to review, download, or reuse the results. This structure gives me full control and flexibility. I can plan out multiple outfits, upload all my images in bulk, and let the automation handle the rest. It also keeps everything organized in one place, making it easy to monitor the status of each try-on request without having to jump between tools. Please note that this automation, together with the Airtable base, is available inside my school community. This is a paid community, and once you join, you'll also be able to download more than 45 ready-to-use automations designed for real use cases. For this automation to work, you'll first need your FAL AI API key. You can generate it directly from your FAL AI account. Then copy that key and paste it into the edit fields node inside N8N. That's the second node in the workflow. At this point, you have two options. Option one. If you're already a community member, you can download the exact automation and import it. Just click the three dots in the top right corner of the editor, select Import from File, and the entire workflow will appear exactly as you see it in my tutorial. Option two. If you're not a member yet, you can follow along with this tutorial and build it step by step yourself. Now let's go through each node and what it does. Execute workflow. This is the manual trigger that starts the entire process with just one click. Edit fields. Here is where I store the FAL AI API key, so it can be reused throughout the workflow without hard coding it multiple times. Search records. This node connects to Airtable and pulls in all the records that need to be processed, including the person image, clothing image, aspect ratio, and preserve pose settings. HTTP request. This node sends the data from Airtable to the FAL AI Virtual Try-On API and starts the image generation process. Wait. Here the workflow pauses for a short time to give FAL AI enough time to generate the result. HTTP request one. After the wait, this node checks the status of the request and retrieves the final generated image. Update record. Finally, this node updates the original Airtable record with the result image URL. 
so everything stays organized and easy to access. This structure makes the entire try-on process fully automated, from the image selection to the final output, without any manual steps in between. Now let me show you exactly how this automation works in real time, and at the end, I'll also show you several examples of the final results. The process starts directly in Airtable. Here, I'll create a new row for a new virtual try-on request. As you can see, the status is set to To Do by default, and the aspect ratio is set to 1 to 1. Of course, I can change the aspect ratio at any time. For example, to 916 if I want a vertical image for TikTok or Instagram. Next, I'll copy the person image from the row above to speed things up. Then, I simply drag and drop a clothing image, in this case, a t-shirt, into the clothing image column. For preserve pose, I'll leave it set to true, so the final result will keep the model's original body position. With everything ready in Airtable, I'll switch over to N8N and click on Execute Workflow. The automation starts running immediately. In less than one minute, the image will be processed and the final result will appear automatically in Airtable inside the final result column. Now let's take a look at a few examples I've already prepared. For the first demo, I used a pink dress. Here's the original model image I started with. And here's the pink dress so you can see it more clearly. And this is the final result, perfectly aligned with the model's body, keeping the natural pose and proportions. For the second example, I used a basic t-shirt. And again, here's the final result, clean, realistic, and ready to use. Next, let's look at another example with a red jacket. This is the generated image. You can see how well it fits and adapts. And finally, here's a look at the red dress version. The result speaks for itself. To close, let's check the last try-on we just started a few seconds ago, the one with the t-shirt. As you can see, the final image is already generated, and it looks amazing. If you find these types of automations useful and want me to keep creating more, leave a like and a comment below. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want to get access to this exact automation, along with more than 45 ready-to-use automations designed for real business use cases, Join my Automation Tribe community on School. You'll find the link in the description. This workflow can save you hours of manual work and help you create content or product visuals at scale. I'm 100% sure this automation can help you be more productive and even make money with it.